Well, uh, hello everyone and thank you for joining me in Hearts of Iron 4. In this episode, I'm gonna just play a mod. Link will be down below in the description for that. It will be essentially a mod where uh, France decided to partition Prussia uh, after the Second World War. So we'll get straight into the game as Prussia. Uh, it will be all random. I've already prepared some game rules, so the game will be all random. So. Basically, we don't know what's gonna happen in the world to make it uh, as much fun as possible, guys. So, uh, let's get straight into the game as Prussia. By the way, Bavaria and Württemberg have focus trees as well, in case you wanna play as them. But for this one, we play as Prussia. In case you wanna see me play as the others, just let me know and I'll see what I can do about that. So, as Prussia, we start off with 3.3 .3 million member because we have service by requirement. We start off with stars by requirement. I mean, that kind of uh, it, uh, it has some disadvantages as well, but it's it, it, it's okay. It's, it's not a big deal. So we'll just improve the infrastructure, I suppose, right? Should we? Should we? Yeah, let's just max it out in our capital because why not? That's the most important area. So uh, the focus trees here, it, it's not a large focus tree for Prussia. We'll do the one nation, one Kaiser. What's interesting though is that the small nation of Württemberg has a really large focus tree. So my suggestions for the mod developer should be to make the focus tree of Prussia uh, large as well. Okay, but this is pretty small right now. You can see you can go fascist, democratic, communist. We have a really, really in-depth focus tree. So playing as Württemberg would maybe be interesting. I don't know how well uh, set up that is. So, uh, well, okay, you, you can proclaim Greater Germany and become fascist, interestingly, as, uh, as Württemberg by, um, uh, one app. <laughs> you just got to kill the royal family. Okay, what, what, what ideology is it, though? Is it, it doesn't say the ideology as well, so, uh, well, that's interesting. It doesn't say which ideology you would go, I, I don't know. I don't know, okay, whatever. So, if you want to see me play as Württemberg, let me know, but this run will be as Prussia, because, you know, we got to have some fun. And this time, we are, why are we low on supplies? What the hell? Okay. <laughs> well, uh, as Prussia, we can do the pacifist approach. So, we'll do the pacifist approach and see uh, what it leads us to. Okay, so we do not have any technologies research whatsoever as Prussia. We don't have any technologies research, so, uh, well, that puts us as at a certain disadvantage for sure. Uh, this is something that has to be fixed, I would say clearly. Let's do the passive approach. This was all queued in, like, I removed the airplanes, now the consequence is that we cannot produce any airplanes. Plus, it lacks the German sprites, it's just ge generic, so I don't know why it is generic. Well, anyways, let's try to have fun as pressure. Well, this is a challenge in it on itself, right? To start with no technologies whatsoever, essentially. So, max one, protect Northern Germany, which... Uh, we suggest an alliance with all of them, and I guess that it's scripted so they all join. I don't know, we'll, we'll find out. Okay, the free state of Württemberg declared war on the Bavarian Soviet Republic. So these two are at war already, as it seems. Well, Mecklenburg accepts, Hamburg accepts, and Schleswig Hanover accepts. So we join a faction with all of the North German nations just by doing that one focus tree. This is gonna give us some bonuses, which I'll just do. Let's go ahead, do that. This is a very interesting war. The Free State of Württemberg just captured uh, the Bavarian Soviet Republic's capital, and they have some encircled troops there. So, okay, will they win? Well, that's an interesting development for sure. So, we might have a contender regarding German uh, unification, maybe as it seems. Let's see. Otto assumes the Hungarian crown. Uh, and let's see when Württemberg is gonna surrender. Also, the Spanish Civil War is fought, well, by uh, by these two guys. Uh, so they should surrender. The Free State of Württemberg should have essentially won. 
right? At least we start. Uh, it's weird. We start with the German generals, but we don't start with the German uh, with German technology or anything. So we are just like a generic nation in a way that isn't uh, well done for sure. Okay, so the German Republic declared war on the Kingdom of Saxony. Okay, so it seems they formed the German Republic. They're at war with both nations. They didn't even win against Bavaria yet. Okay, it seems like they're just declaring war on, on everyone, which... Okay, so I'm being called into the war. Okay, I'm being called into the war. Uh, okay, oh, oh, they declared war against us as well, so... <laughs> The Bavarian side really wants to join the faction. No, you won't let him join. Okay, so we are facing how many troops? Well, that's interesting. We are facing uh, 100, around 100,000 troops. Okay, so this is something I would not have expected, to say the least. <laughs> okay, alright. So, uh, well, I suppose I'll just field in my divisions right now. They're not ready, but who cares? So, let's go ahead on the front line. And the aiming civil war is ongoing as well. well. Well, as you can see, the only nations that actually have militaries is Prussia and Württemberg. Like, these nations, they have nothing. They have absolutely nothing, as it seems. So, uh, well, I mean, I can push against Württemberg. Yeah, we are winning easily. We can't even force forced to surrender now. I don't know why they just decided to... Okay, well, that was it. That was pretty damn simple, at least. We can just annex the German Republic. Okay, that's it. The Bavarian Soviet Republic has been liberated, you could say. We got uh, Württemberg. Although, I would have wanted to see them around more, but... Uh, I mean, you know, if they attack us, we don't really have a choice, do we? Oh, well, we could have simply let them stay around there for a while, but we don't do it in Sparta. Uh, but now it's too late. So anyway, this was a very, very interesting development, I think, <laughs> for sure. We can remilitarize the Rhineland with the Wacht am Rhein. Let's, okay, we have already done it. What? So fast? Okay. Okay, that, that, that was easy. I don't know why it was done instantly. Uh, we cannot do any focus because we can only unite the con you unify the confederation uh, after we have 400,000 troops in the field, which we do not have. Well, to fix that, I'll just train. Let's see, 18 divisions. So it will be close to 400,000. So that should be fine. What the hell just happened? Look to all of these events. Okay, Second Russian Civil War. Hungary united with Austria. And the dawn of the, what's the Soviet Compact? The provisional Russian government. Okay, well, that's rather interesting for sure. Japan is going fascist. Nothing. Great Britain is going non-aligned. Non-aligned? <laughs> Alright. And the Polish Republic declared war on Poland. So, civil wars everywhere in this world, as it seems. Simply everywhere. Yeah, for sure. Uh, maybe I should have played Württemberg. Like, now we are just, just waiting and doing nothing, essentially. Just, just waiting. We, we should have maybe went the quick unification path. Well, after we have 400,000 troops in the field, which we have soon... Let's see. Now, okay, I just forced them to deploy. We have half a million. Now we can do unify the confederation focus at least. The Kievan Jealous Republic. It seems like the Soviet Union is breaking apart. Well, they can break apart. Bangladesh took war in Pakistan. Oh, the British India broke apart as well, or whatever just happened there. Well, the allies are no more. They're just a commonwealth of nations, and that's it. And that's it. The French are going fascist? Really? So a fascist France and non-aligned Germany. What? Restoration of Austria-Hungary. <laughs> okay. So we unified the confederation just right now. Which resulted in us... Well, we didn't get them all as core states, unfortunately. Not yet. We only get them as cores. Now we can form the confederation. We'll get a core, a core on all of those. So we didn't inherit any, uh, anything, essentially. Okay. Prussia forms the North German Confederation. That is great. Now we have Remo factories. Now we can go ahead to roll to world power. Well, we need 1 million troops in the field. 1 million? That's quite a bit to say the least. We can do the unifier Kaiser, at least. With this focus free, 
we might a message from the north. We might unify Bavaria for free, I think. Yeah. We don't gotta focus on them. Well, we can't do anything because we're non-aligned, so we cannot justify on anyone. So it's just waiting out for now. The Soviet Union is falling apart, so nations are popping out one after one. So, uh, well, we re I wish I could strike against them, but we can't. And Austria-Hungary just got their 54 civilian factories. Holy shit, 54. Wow, they, they are stronger than, than we are, essentially. <laughs> Guys, without a doubt, this is pretty boring, to be honest. Uh, nothing is happening, nothing. So, uh, well, we need 1 million troops in the field in order to do something, which we are far away from achieving. So, well, I, I suppose that this is the spotlight. I think I'm gonna try out Württemberg as well, and let you guys know how I think that is. But right now, it's just waiting, waiting and waiting. So, I think I'm just gonna produce more weapons so I can... Yeah, fill that up faster, but I cannot declare against anyone, nor do I have any ca any causes belly. I can just do the focuses and that's it. Ah, oh, guys, I'm gonna try out playing as as, as Württemberg, okay? Uh, so this won't be the last episode of this mod, but this is too boring. This is too boring. We don't have any sprites. Our focus tree is extremely small. So uh, I suppose we could wait until we have one million power in the field, and then then the fun. Well, then the fun could begin, you could say, so, um... And we could also proclaim the, what, the Second Holy Roman Empire. <laughs> okay, we could put in the Second Holy Roman Empire. But we can't do the Anschluss because they found Austria-Hungary anyway. So, well, guys, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna end this <laughs> spotlight here. So, this is the, um... You have to wait until we have 1 million troops we don't, so we gotta wait for a long as time still. Well, guys, I hope you all enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe. And let me know. Hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye and have a uh, great day.